everyone, I'm Heather and I just wanted to show you a bit about how I meal prep before a trip. Um, as you know, I'm a flight attendant so some days I can be gone up to four days and I like to stay prepared and have all of my meals planned out and ready so that while I'm working it's easier for me to stay on track with a meal plan and lose weight and stay healthy. Um, as you know, or some of you might not know, I've lost 25 pounds in the past year doing Beachbody um, and just eating healthier, working out every day, watching what I eat. So I wanted to make this little video for everyone because my biggest question that I get from other flight attendants and friends who are struggling to lose weight while working is how do I do it? How do I plan my meals? How do I pack? So. Here you go. First off, I am currently doing the 21 Day Fix Extreme. I'm doing the normal extreme meal plan, um, but on two days a week, I'm adding in the competition plan, which is no carbs. So it's going to be tough um, at work because there's so many things available to me to stuff in my face. But if I'm prepared and I have everything planned out, I usually um, do a lot better job of staying on track. So here's the eating plan that I use as a quick reference. And it's pretty much my meal plan Bible. Um, it lists all of the foods that I'm allotted through this whole program, which is 21 days and how much of everything and I have a little checklist of how much I eat a day. So whether you're doing this 21 day fix meal plan or you just want to stay healthy while traveling, this will help you. Um, you don't have to do this to a T but just planning out what you're packing and putting it into proper portions is going to help you tremendously in losing weight or just staying healthy. So I'll start with the reds, which are proteins, and I have a ton because with the competition plan that I'm doing this week, it's a ton of protein. So I'll show you what I have. I have ground chicken that I browned up. I measured it out in my little red container that I was provided with the program and put them in little red baggies. I've done this enough um, with the regular 21 day fix to know what, what color is associated with which food. So I don't really need to label anything too much for myself. So I have actually three baggies of the ground chicken, which I'll use on salads or um, mixed with eggs anything like that. Also, I made some little steak, uh, extra lean steak that I grilled up, chopped into pieces, and I'll also use that on a salad, which I'm actually kind of excited for because I've never done that before, and I have a feeling it's going to be pretty tasty. Also, my go-to are hard-boiled eggs. I love them. I could probably eat them all day long. Um, and I know some of my hotels have them as well, but they don't taste as well as homemade ones. So I bring my own for the most part, keep them in a little baggie. Two equals one red serving. So I actually have three servings in here of hard boiled eggs, which I top with some hot sauce, which is a free food and I love it. Next is a turkey burger. Um, grilled it up at home so all I have to do while I'm on the road is put it in the microwave to nuke it a bit and I actually really like turkey burgers with some sweet peppers which are my greens so for the greens it's vegetables and I've measured them out put them in little baggies also you can get these great portion control baggies at any grocery store really and they have quarter cup half cup three-fourths one cup in here and so I sliced up my sweet peppers put them in these baggies I have three of them and this one also has cucumbers so I'll add those with you know my salads or I eat them plain also for my greens I make up little salads so this has kale spinach peppers cucumber and I put them all in a little baggie with a 
paper towel. The paper towel helps keep them from getting too soggy and wet. It, it absorbs all the moisture and keeps your salad fresher. So I actually have four salads that I plan on eating this week at work. Next are asparagus. I love asparagus and I actually eat them raw um, with hummus. So hummus is next on my list. I found these great little containers at the dollar store and it's exactly one blue container. So one blue container of hummus and I'm all set, dip my asparagus in it, I'm good to go. Next up are my carbs, which is not going to be a lot this week, but I have some sweet potato measured out in these little perfect sized containers for my sweet potatoes. I mashed them up, I did not add anything. I just boiled the sweet potatoes, mashed them up, measured it out, put in the containers. I actually can eat them cold, so it's nice to have a little snack on the plane because um, we don't have ovens on our planes. I also have the turkey chili that I made this week from the meal plan. Um, this has two servings in it, so I'll just equal it out um, half and half turkey and some vegetables. My dressing that I made, it's a balsamic vinaigrette with some Dijon mustard and I love this little container to take with me for my salads. And that leads me into my two little spoons here. So I use my tablespoon for my salad dressing and I've measured out the containers so I know how many containers equals one tablespoon how much I'm allotted in a day, I use it for my salad. My teaspoon is for uh, my peanut butter, which I have organic peanut butter, nothing added, um, and I can have two of these a day of peanut butter. On the competition plan, I can have three. Or coconut oil, if you prefer to drink coconut oil, go ahead. Not my thing. Also, I'll bring avocado with me and just in case I get sick of the hummus, I can substitute in some avocado for it. When I buy them at the grocery store, I don't buy them ripe because I know by the time I pack them in my lunch and want to eat them on day two or three, they'll be mushy and gross. So I buy them pretty stiff so that they're not fully ripe until I'm ready to eat them. Also, I bring along, well, here's my organic peanut butter. Cinnamon, it's my go-to spice. It's a free spice, don't have to worry about measuring it out. I put it in my coffee because I drink my coffee black and I like to add some cinnamon for some flavor. And I bring my E and E, let's see the label here. Uh, helps give me that extra boost that I need. Um, I know some of the days this week are going to be early, trying to fit in just a 30 minute workout, but um, for those of you who fly, you know working 12, 14 hours a day, the last thing you really want to do is wake up early the next morning and work out, but I'm going to do it because I want to prove to myself that I can do it. And I know that I can, it's just a matter of getting up and doing it. Um, so the e and &E actually helps me um, just feel more alive and gives me that extra boost that I need and it's all natural. No artificial sweeteners, sucralose, none of that junk. It's all natural and it's great. So the last but definitely not least is my Shakeology. I bring that with me, these little packets. Um, and they're so perfect for me on those short flights where I'm hungry or as I like to say hangry and I'm ready to just snap on the dumbest things. So my Shakeology helps keep me um, sane, really. So I put it into my blender bottle that I bring along with me. Just add some water and shake it up and chug it. And it's great because it gives me the extra boost and nutrition that I need throughout the day. Um, in the past, I've gotten so sick at work um, by not eating right and not sticking with my nutrition and just shoving carbs in my face all day that I actually ended up in the hospital once because I was so 
sick to my stomach and my system just started to shut down and it was a terrible experience and so now that I meal prep and I eat healthier and I drink my Shakeology daily I haven't had any problems and it's it's helped me and it's helped my paychecks because I don't have to call in sick now um, with Shakeology also I add in some PEB2 uh, it's powdered peanut butter. It doesn't have any of the oils or anything, and I just shake it up. So this is like a Reese's cup in a bottle during a quick flight. Done. So that's pretty much everything that I'll pack this week. Um, and then the next big question I get is, well, what kind of lunchbox do you use? Well, ugh. I swear to you, this lunchbox on day one especially weighs more than my rollerboard actually weighs um, it's a strong bags got it from strongbags.com and it keeps my food fairly cold through the whole day I put one ice pack on the bottom and I put another cold pack on top and everything stays pretty fresh I keep a washcloth on the bottom just to, to keep it clean um, so I put the majority of my food inside here. I put my Shakeology and other little things up top here. This bottom part also opens, which I store little things in, like my collapsible bowl. Great for my salads. I'll show you real quick. It's pretty fancy. And there, full out for my salads. I wash them out every night in the hotel with some soap, and I'm good to go. So everyone, that is how I pack for a four-day trip, and I encourage you to just try it once. You know, it, it will really benefit you in the long run. You'll feel better about yourself, you'll be happier at work because you're properly fed, you won't feel as sluggish. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me, contact me on Facebook, and I'd love to chat with you more. So I hope this helps and have a great week.